Hello, Sizzle Nation. I'm Ben Cook, your director of content, and this is App or Derves, where you get bite-sized videos on information and training on the Sizzle app. So today we're going to start with downloading, accessing, and setting up your Sizzle app. And of course, that starts with downloading. So the best way to download the app onto your mobile device is to pull up a browser and go to sizzleapp.com. Little side note about sizzleapp.com, this is a great place to come. If you're wanting to do a little preliminary research on the app, if you scroll down just a little ways, you'll see this, this nifty Sizzle app promo video it goes over all the features and benefits. Good little intro to the app. I'm going to go ahead and continue to scroll down on sizzleapp.com. Uh, you'll see this download section. Um, if you're using an iPhone or an iPad or an Apple device, you'll want to click that top icon there, download on the App Store. If you're on an Android device, you're going to want to click on that bottom one. I happen to be using an iPhone, so I will click on the top one here. You'll see this little prompt that pulls up. This page will open in another application. All that means is it's going to take you to the App Store to proceed to download it onto your phone. Normally, I'd click open here. I already have the app on my phone. I've already completed that step. So I'm going to go ahead and just click cancel, and we're going to jump right into the app. So once it's on your phone and you click on the app to get into it, the first thing you're going to see is this login page here where you need to input a username and a password. Now, it, to get in, it's real simple. Your username is just the same username that you use to log in to your back office. Password, it's the exact same thing. The password that you set up for your back office is going to get you into the Sizzle app here. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine in. Okay, and we are in. So once you log into the app, the first thing you're going to see here is this content page, all this great sizzle content. So we're going to talk about content a little bit later. First good thing to do, if you see that little green icon up at the top left, that little profile icon, if you click on that, then you click on that contact information tab, you'll see a little setup area here. You'll see your first and last name is already in there. Your email is in there, but you'll um, have a place to input your phone number. And then below that, a little bio section. And if you want a picture, then that little camera icon there, if you click on it, that'll prompt you to upload a photo of yourself. Once you complete setup there, scroll down and make sure all of the content sections are there. So you'll see videos, images, you'll see two PDF sections, an audio section, and a My Tools section. Now again, we're going to go over these different content sections in a different video. Uh, but first things first, let's just make sure that they're all there. If you're missing any of those, if you look at that little green icon at the top that looks like those two little slider bars, if you click on that, you'll see a list of all the different content sections here. By default, they should all be green. If you're missing some of those sections, it's probably because one of these is deselected, like I've just deselected videos here. Make sure they're all slid over to the green so that you're seeing everything. Once that's done, let's go into our settings. You'll find that button at the bottom right. It's that little gear button. If we click on that, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on in here, but let's go into notifications here in the feed section. At the top, you'll see that push notifications. By default, it should be green. If it isn't, I would make sure that it's green. Push notifications, you're going to get those if there are any updates to the app or if there are any messages that Sizzle Corporate sends you through push notifications. If that is not turned on, you will not receive those. So just make sure that's on and ready to go. The last thing we're going to do is have you set up your contacts. You'll see that little icon at the bottom. It says contacts. Click on that. You can see I already have our director of global marketing, Jason Goff, in there. Towards the top of this page here, you'll see sync device contacts. If you click on that tab, you'll see this little prompt here that says all contacts or select contacts. Now, if you click that all contacts button, that's going to go and pull all the contacts in your phone into the app just in one fail swoop. Or you can go the a la carte method and go one by one. You can do that select contacts. I'm going to go ahead and just do that um, just to show you. Of course, one of the first contacts I see here, Aaron Rennert, our global VP of sales and marketing. I can click that sync button right there. By clicking that sync button, that will put him in to the app there. There's Aaron Rennert. And that's how easy it is to get contacts into your phone. So congratulations on downloading, accessing, and setting up your Sizzle app. Stay tuned for more app or der videos. They are coming soon. We're going to talk about sharing corporate content, creating and sharing your own uploaded videos. We're going to talk about how to use this app as a customer relationship manager, how to track your contacts, how to use the analytics. A lot of really good stuff coming, so stay tuned and enjoy the Sizzle app.